Okay, we're ready, huh? Yep, I'll follow. You guys go around this way and I'll follow you or whatever. Okay. Yeah. Okay, camera should be on. I, uh, 2003 V rod, my nephew just bought. Happy Easter 2018. Last Wednesday, my nephew asked me if I'd go with him and he was going to look at a bike he seen on Craigslist. It was about 20 to 30 miles away and he asked me if he got it, would I ride it home because it was going to rain all day and him being on this bike that he hadn't rode. I said, yeah, I'll go along. So I'm riding it home and it's a 2003 v-rod harley and it's the uh, 100 year anniversary it's the uh, gray and chrome model 1130 cc and he has the v star 1100 but this bike it's only 30 more cc's but it's got a lot more torque on the upper end i mean when you crank it it really goes the bike has under a little under 9,000 miles. Uh, he got all the paperwork with it from when the guy got it. He was the original owner. And uh, you can notice here on the windshield, it's now that's the Harley windshield, and it's a little smoked, but there was a film on the inside of the windshield. When we got it home, we were looking at it. He scrubbed it, and it was some kind of grit, grime, we don't know what it was. The front of the shield didn't have it, but the back did, so it's hard to see out of. Couldn't figure out what it was, but he got it off. And uh, I'd like to do talk a little bit about my th thoughts on the bike. Uh, the key location. The key for this bike is down under your right leg, right behind your knee. It's like such an odd place. And one night, he rode it up here. He went home. He dropped that key. It went down between the pipes and the bike. He couldn't get it out. I mean, it's down in there. He finally went and got a twig off a tree and fished it out and caught it out. But it's just an odd place. The mirrors on this thing are ridiculous. They're uh, not far out enough. The bike is really light. Every, a lot of it's aluminum, the swing arm in the back, and uh, aluminum solid rims. And they make it narrow. It's almost there. You can see I'm trying to adjust the mirror to get it right. And uh, it's just like the, the bike's so narrow. They have the mirrors inward. My right arm, I'm seeing maybe uh, a third of the mirrors taken up with my arm the left mirror it was more than half so he wants to get longer stems bring them out and get them apart make it better and the foot pegs oh the foot pegs are little round ones they look like they come off a moped or something i don't know why they didn't put the harley fatter pegs on it he's going to change those but there, and that it has forward controls, and I'm 5'3", so I'm short. They're so far forward, I'm on the balls of my feet, and I gotta really stretch my left leg to get under the shifter. There, you, but for him, he's over six foot. It might be all right. 
And uh, the main thing I was concerned about was vibration. This bike was vibrating. You can see I'm holding the tank. At one point, I put my hand behind me on a back fender. Then I put it up on the front fork, and I knew that there was more vibration in the back than the front. Well, then it came to me that he said he had put two new tires on it, and I looked down, and the wheel weight on it looked like it had been on there a long time. I don't think they were balanced. So I told my nephew, we'll get my balancer, and here I'm feeling the windshield uh, where the air is coming up over it. It wasn't right. My head was uh, constantly getting buffeting. And I felt the air a couple times, and I found it's coming up, and it's hitting me right across my vision, right about where my eyes are at. So from there up, my head's really getting buffeted around. That needs tilted more, because you're looking over the windshield right there. I'm trying to see where that wind's hitting, and that needs reset. It's just a lot of little things like that. The uh, previous owner was a only owner of it the seat he had changed and uh, he got the original Harley seat with it he said he's gonna put it back on and try it and the mufflers on this are stock and they are quiet I mean they're super quiet it's like he asked me he said why is that thing so quiet I thought all Harleys were loud and I said no Harley makes them quiet then if you want them changed you change them and I couldn't really lean because the wet roads, it's not my bike. Here you can see I'm uh, feeling for vibration again. I didn't want to lean the bike too much, but with the clearance underneath it, it feels like you could really lean it over and get the bends good. And uh, the gas tank's not a gas tank. There's an air uh, filter under there. The gas tank's under the seat. It's a plastic gas tank in the bike. And I think it's 3.7. Uh, could have been a little bigger. I'd like to seen it be bigger, but that's fine. And uh, the bike runs smooth. Now the idling air, you can hear it going up and down. I told him, put some uh, injector cleaners in the gas tank. Put a few ounces in and run it. And uh, we'll check the air filter and all that stuff. But the vibration, I was disappointed, you know, but I said, we can, I think it's really the balance. Then the gas gauge don't work. I guess they're noted for the sensors going bad in the gas tank or whatever, so we have to look into that. We went, left the guy's place, just went down the road a little piece, uh, filled it up. I started riding. I seen the gas gauge coming up, coming up. It went up halfway, stopped, started back down. So right there, I know there's plenty of gas in it. The gauge is clear down the bottom, and the little yellow light's on that shows the gas pump, meaning get gas. So that's not right. And uh, he was a little disgusted, and I said, hey, it's all these little things you got to change, even with a new bike. There's probably something you want to change on it. Make it fit you. But... Uh, I would have never bought this bike for myself. I really didn't care for them, but I've worked on it and I've been around it for this last week and I, there's so many days and I am impressed with this bike. My final thought is the Harley uh, riders didn't give this bike a chance. It was so radical, different looking. They just like, well, you know, I'm putting out that kind of money. I don't want to buy it. But I've ridden it and uh, looked at it, and it, it is a well-designed bike. I mean, it is nice, handles nice. Low, uh, low gravity point, so it, it just hangs right in there, and I mean, it got the power. 1130 uh, cc, but it seems like a bigger bike. And it's light. I couldn't believe how light it was because when I went to back it out, uh, the guys, uh, we had it up there by the garage and I went, I had to back it out and I sit down on it. I push with my feet and I could just move it back so easy. It's like, you know, I was gonna push hard, but it's a light bike and that, you know, helps with the speed and everything. But uh, 
he talks about, you know, doing something with the pipes because it is so quiet, and it is. He said he was following me, and he said he opened his window, he couldn't hear it. <laughs> so, and that's where the sound's going. It was 54 degrees. I should have took my gloves, but I had my rain gear on, and I have those pants that are really warm, and they're rain repellent. So I really didn't get wet, but it rained, it rained, you know, light all day long. Just as we got home, it quit. <laughs> so, but it was nice. Oh, he's happy with it. Always won the Harley, so he got one. And uh, then he kept saying, you know, he liked the fat boy. He should have bought a fat boy. Now he's in love with this, you know. He just, but I can see why, because once you're on it and you get around this bike, it is neat. I mean, you know, now if I was going to, say, buy another Harley, I'd consider getting a V-Rod. They don't make them anymore. They didn't sell like they thought. They put so much uh, technology into this bike. And Porsche helped them with the motor. It's, you know, they helped with a lot of the design of the motor. It's well built. And it was just that uh, I think riders are like, it's too new. You know, it's too different. But the bike is a decent bike. And I think he's really going to enjoy it. So we get all the little things done and get it the way he wants it. I think he'll be fine with it. But he got a really good deal on it. Oh. He's happy.